Hello everyone, welcome back to Wizard 101. Um, last we left off, we were getting ready to go into Cyclops Lane. So, uh, let's go ahead and get into this. Okay, um, so we're gonna go in here. Oh good, Professor Drake sent me another assistant. Hurry, this way, we can talk safely over here. Okay, you pompous asshole. Like the fuck? Look there, wizard. Do you see that device? I do. It's a teleporter. If you use it, it will transport you to other teleporters on the street. You can get where you're going quickly. Okay. Well, I'm not doing that. Before we do this quest, I'm going to show you where the smith on this street is. It is right over here. Hello, sir. Oh, and there's a chest over here. These will just randomly spawn. There's not always a chest over there, but you know. Alright, let's go talk to asshole here. Hello. There. Much better. Hopefully you're more useful than my other assistants. Lazy layabouts just run off. Why do you assume they ran off? I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they did, but why would you automatically assume that? My fellow students and I came to confirm the successful thwarting of the Cyclops Rebellion. But there's a problem. The thwarting was unsuccessful. Probably because of you. Which should be impossible. Professor Drake handled this problem as any conjurer would. He summoned trolls and minotaurs to deal with it for him. Yes. But these lumbering trolls and minotaur warhorns don't seem to be working. They're just wandering around in circles. Uh-huh. We could report that to Professor Drake, but I see a spark of ambition in you. Let's knock the sense back into these beasts ourselves, yes? I think that's a stupid idea, but... That will certainly earn us some extra credit. You go battle trolls and outhandle the warhorns. <laughs> You're not gonna be able to survive a warhorn, sweetie. Okay. Dear Vum, um I'll show the first fight at least, and then um I'll just skip ahead. So, hello, Lumbering Trolls. Okay. So we've got some new cards. Uh, we got that uh, trap, and we also got our level 5 spell. Um, sorry, by the way, I just woke up, so... Um, <laughs> Well, not just with her, but I've been up for a little bit, but not very long. I'd like maybe. Oh. Maybe a couple of hours, but I lazed around in bed for about an hour. <laughs> Alright, that one's done, and I'll see you momentarily. I could 100% be risking this not working, so, um, let's do this last fight, and then I will end the recording and check this section, specifically, because I, a lot of times I tend to have trouble with full screen applications. But we'll see. Okay. Come on, this should kill this guy in one hit. Great. Wonderful. Okay, sure. 
Okay, so it seems like it's working okay for now. Keyword being for now. Because who knows how the hell this is gonna go. Um, hello, sir. What? The trolls summoned to defeat the Cyclopses have joined up with them and captured my student assistants? What did you do? What did I do? What did you do? I just fucking got here, man. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Never mind, never mind. This is no time for recriminations. That will come later. Now we must figure out how this happened. Myth minions cannot just turn on their masters. It's against their code of honor or laws of physics or whatever. There's something strange afoot. No shit, buddy. I think. Our best course of action is to tell a grown-up. Report the situation to Professor Drake. Well, I remain and bravely hold the line. See, this tells me they're like teenagers. But it's called college, and college is usually used for adults. So I, I don't know. I mean, a lot of the characters sound like teenagers, so maybe it's like a high school or something, but for some reason they're calling it college? I don't fucking know. But make sure to mention that I'm still here, bravely holding the line while the other students are busy talking and getting captured. You can get to Ravenwood and back quickly I am by aware. pressing the mark button to set your location. Give it a try. Use the return to commons button to get back to the commons and then head to Ravenwood. Or I could just go to my dorm and walk out. Which is what we're gonna do. <laughs> Alright. Okay, over this way. Hey man, how's it going? Thank you. Hello. Yes, yes. Trouble on Cyclops Lane. Something, something students. Oh, you're one of those fast talkers, aren't you? Lovely. <laughs> Let me save you the trouble of breathlessly barking and dancing about like a dog reporting a mishap in a well. I already know everything. Do you, though? And I need you. Yes, you, to help me save Cyclops Lane. Are you up to it? Splendid. Then quickly, go to Victor Darkwood in the shopping district. I'm getting his laundry. Spoilers. He will give you an item of great importance. Bring it back to me. He's giving us his laundry. Spoiler alert. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay. Checking, yes, great. Welcome to Darkwood's Apparel Barrel, where shopping for apparel is more fun than Monkistons in a barrel. Great sales pitch. Professor Drake sent you, eh? Which one? The mean one or the evil one? Cyrus? I. Oh, he's the mean one. <laughs> okay. So. See, I don't like this. I don't like this. Because the whole thing with the Malister and Cyrus relationship is... It's supposed to be a big reveal right before you go to Dragonspire that they're brothers. And this just basically outright says it. The old death professor Malister. Oh yeah. My, that's his brother. Always wear a grumpy pair. Can't say I mind there being one less around these days. See, I don't like that they changed that, because the whole point of the end of Arc 1 was you're getting into Dragonspire, you learn that Melister is Cyrus's brother, and it's this big reveal, and you're like, what the fuck? At least I was when I was like 12. 
<laughs> and playing this and like when I finally got to Dragon Spire and that happened I was like wait what they're brothers like it was it, it was supposed to be this big reveal or at least it used to be this big reveal and now it just straight out tells you and I don't like that anyway here's the old Grumps package all his laundry clean pressed and folded correctly no matter what he says <coughs> Ooh, I don't know if I want a screenshot of Cyrus or Nolan and, like, title this episode, This Guy. <laughs> we'll see. I'll do both. Um, but let's go talk to Cyrus real quick. That certainly took you long enough. No doubt Victor folded my robes improperly as well. If you don't want him to fold your clothes, fold him your own fucking self, man. <laughs> uh, why do you continue raving about Cyclops Lane? The situation is well in hand. I sent an army of trolls to ensure as much. Yeah, well, they're not doing shit. The trolls are revolting, you say? Yes, that is a problem, and it must be dealt with harshly. Take this note to Headmaster Ambrose at once. This fucking guy. <laughs> okay, hello, Headmaster Ambrose. I will not expel you. I realize Professor Drake takes particular umbrage at the trolls are revolting joke, but this is simply too far. It's not a joke, though. They're actually, like, not listening to him. You mean to say the trolls he sent to Cyclops Lane are revolting in the combative sense? Oh dear, he must remedy this at once. Yeah. Don't worry, young wizard. Professor Drake may seem callous, but he is not his brother. <laughs> Impress upon him the severity of the issue, and he will help. See, once again, revealing already that Malastare and Cyrus are brothers. Like, it used to be this whole big reveal. And now it's just, they flat out say it. I don't like that. I'm sorry. Anyway, back to asshole here. And we're back. You're still here? The trolls are rebelling, hmm? Captured some students, you say? Nolan behaving bravely? I don't believe you. See, if you had left out the Nolan behaving bravely, he might have believed you. Although, thinking about it, Wizard City is old and holds many ghosts with strange powers not commonly practiced today. It's not impossible such a spirit may have a way to enthrall my minions, though General Achilles would have neither means nor motive to summon one. Who says he's the one that summoned it? What's that? Yes, Malastair would. I heard you met him. Well, he and Achilles are old comrades. Who knows what dark powers he gave the Cyclops? I don't know, man. All I can do is guide you. Whatever my brother summoned to disrupt my magic will be with Achilles. Find it, destroy it, and save the students. Uh, also, make sure young Master Stormgate doesn't get swallowed by his own humongo frog again. <laughs> Wait, did he actually laugh? Hold on, I missed that! Hold on, wait! All I can do- Uh, also, make sure young Master Stormgate doesn't get swallowed by his own humongo frog again. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way! Oh, that's weird! I don't know if I like that! <laughs> Why am I crying? <laughs> Whoa! What? Uh... 
Okay. Huh. Okay, that I do like that. They're showing some hints that he's not all bad now laughing at his own joke, but they still, I don't think, should have, like, revealed that they were brothers immediately. But... That's just me, I guess. If you marked your location, click the recall button to return to your mark. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was... Unexpected. Um, okay. Back to asshole number two. Hey. Professor Drake said to tell me not to get eaten. I knew deep down he really cared, and he's trusted me to save Cyclops Lane. Not you. Me. Not you. He would rather you get back to your studies and leave me to do this work, because you clearly don't know shit. So then, if the students were kidnapped by trolls and the trolls work for the Cyclops Eye, then a Cyclops should know where the students are. Wait. Wait, isn't- hold on. I'm looking this up. Okay. I looked this up. He's using the wrong plural form of Cyclops. It is Cyclopes, not Cyclopsy. So, Nolan, also, get back to your English classes, bitch. <laughs> Therefore, my first order of business is to have you go fight Cyclopsicles until <laughs> one tells you where the students are. Cyclopsicle. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> okay, I guess we're fighting Cyclopses. Or Cyclopes. Oh, I guess I'll show you at least one fight, and if I happen to get it on the first try, great. If not, oh well. They do have a lot of health, though. <laughs> I will say. Oh, and it started with him first. Oh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I could hit him with one, and then put another trap and hit him with another one. I think that's the plan. You with your goddamn trolls. Oh, I see a reagent over there. Oh shit, that worked! That was just a one. I think he still has like three health left. Yeah. That was unexpected. Okay. Sure. I didn't expect that. What? The students are in the dark cave. We had the trolls deliver them. Cause there's nightmares in there. No sane Cyclops can endure. I got that on the first one. Holy shit. Okay. One moment. Okay, we did the crafting quest while I was paused. Um... You have to get us out of here! Those zombie creatures have the talisman to dispel these bubbles. Get it from them, please! Okay. Um, because, you know, I figured y'all wouldn't want to see the crafting one. It's just, y you craft two daggers and then take them to Eudora. And I think you get to keep them, so you can, like, sell them. Um, okay. Rotting fodders. Let's just fight the first one and if I get it great if not I'll save you all the pain of watching 30 fights and um, do it off camera <laughs> alright 
Well, fuck you, my guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, stretching my legs out. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> All right, am I gonna get it in the first fight? Please? That would help me a lot. Fine. Yes. Take the talisman. Free the miscreants. But you will all be chow for the great one whose gaze enthralls and whose teeth destroy. Sure, rabbit. Spoilers, it's a rabbit. Oh, do I have to do it in, like, I can't just do it here and then go that way? I have to do, that's so stupid. <sighs> oh, thank you! I thought for sure the spirits here were going to possess us and make us dance to catchy, upbeat music. It's my worst fear. <laughs> okay, miss, I'm not like other girls. Girl, what? I don't know what happened. The trolls just grabbed us and sealed us in bubbles to become vessels for the Great One. Whatever that means. I wonder if the reason they changed this is, um... Later on, like during the Mirage arc and stuff, you have to fight several bosses. I've never gotten that far, but I've heard it's seed other people. And I know one of them is someone we're gonna meet soon. But are these people the others? Question mark? Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd very much like to flee in terror. Girl, same. <laughs> All right. Jesus, how close do I got to get? Rock. Did you see all these gnarly ghosts? Oh, yeah. Well, Cyrus said they were sealed in this cave by his bro back in the day. I love how the ice... like, NPC has a surfer dude's voice. Something with power over the dead broke him out, though. Oh, I bet it was Malorn. Dude's always been jealous of my raw cool. No. Oh, you think Malister did it? Didn't they blow up with the death school or something? Yeah, whatever. Going out to get some rays. Okay. All right, last one. At last. Let me guess, no one sent you to do his work for him? That is such a myth wizard thing to do. Or maybe it's just him. It's just him. I'll get everyone to safety. Find us back by Nolan and we can discuss next steps. Okay. Ooh, or. <laughs> See you guys in a minute. It might have to be Cyrus because I can't get a good picture of this guy without everyone in it. I should have tried to do it before I did this quest. But whatever. Everyone's safe? Good. Now we need to finish the job the trolls and Warhorn started. We need to defeat General Achilles. Uh-huh. I don't know what dark influence Achilles found in this cave or how it lets him disrupt control of Professor Jake's minions, but it doesn't matter. I feel like it matters a little bit. We'll never get to Achilles' tower with those Warhorns on his side. See, why can't I get a shot like this on the camera? Why can't I do that? No, we definitely won't. Our spell books are gone and they are not entry level monsters. <laughs> but our new friend here can do it. What do you mean they're not entry level monsters? They're not that hard to fight. What do you mean, my guy? Oh, that's an excellent idea I just had. Wizard. Go fight Warhorns until they surrender. I'll stay here and protect the others. Um, thanks. Three of them? Ugh. 
Okay, I'll show you the first fight at least. Alright, here they are. Hello, sir. Alright. Let's start with one of these to the face. <sighs> okay. So we're gonna grab that. Just to add extra damage, right? Ooh, I have a couple of quests and stuff I need to get from my teacher, because we're level 10 now, I think. Yeah, he's dead. Let's go. Did I get the maze book too? No, god damn it. Ask Colonel Romulus anyway. You just wasted your time. Well, um, you missed like half of that, so I will reread that for you. Hmm, you won't get past Colonel Romulus anyway. You just wasted your time. Will. Did I though? And also, I made a mistake. I am definitely level six. Is what I am. Um, I don't know why my brain was like, "Oh yeah, we're level ten, right?" Because we're not. Hey, man. I saw you defeat the Warhorns, Wizard. But can you defeat Achilles himself? I'm glad they changed that though, because like. Earlier, like, the voice line. Oh my god. Um, because last time, like, it was before they added, like, the Olympus dungeons and stuff. Um, you would do this quest, and you would get up to Rhymus, and he'd be like, Uh, you don't look like a warhorn to me, but I guess this... Proves otherwise or some shit like that because you got like this key um, and then like when they added the Olympus dungeon and stuff they kept that line But then when you went back to him to get to Aquila, he sounded like this So I'm glad they switched that to make it, you know, make more sense with this character I hope so he just hasn't been the same since that undead monster came in. I'll be honest with you. It scares me, wizard. Okay. Someone needs to save General Achilles from himself. Can you do it? Then go inside, and good luck. Thank you. Uh, we also got the maze books for Rosie, so we're gonna mark that real quick as well. Like, mark this area here. And I'll be back in a moment. Oh, we also got this quest from, um, I think it was Gloria Crindle. I could be wrong. And so this gives you like a level 10, yeah, outfit. Um, which I don't know if we'll use it, but we might. Um, and then of course we've got the Triton Avenue Smith, and then I got- I finished the first crafting quest, so we've got this one. So this is gonna be in our quest book for a moment here. <laughs> um. Okay. <coughs> Let's prepare ourselves a minute here, grab this Mandrake. Um, I usually use, uh... uh what are they called? Henchmen in my boss fights, so let's get inside. I was gonna pause it, but I think he'll automatically start talking. Shut up, Halston! Ah, once you activate the sigil, a countdown will start. When the timer runs out, anyone standing on the sigil will go inside the dungeon with you. And this is why I switched to perfect room, so I don't have other people going in. One of you comes to face me at last. Know this. I see Cyclops Wade, but it was not my choice. So why'd you do it then? It was mine. No, 
down here, near the ground. Near the ground. Yes, me. Fear me. For I am a prince of Darkmoor. Cursed to be a bunny. Beaten by a vampire. Then dropped between physical and spiritual planes. <laughs> I am a ghostly vampire bunny. And I once tried to control this at city with my hypnotic gaze. Alas, I was sealed in the caves with the other undead. Also, the villain monologues, like you, you are laying out your entire plan to the hero, and you think that's going to turn out good for you? But Malastair destroyed our treason, sent us to cause chaos. And then his brother provided an easily swayed army of trolls and cow things. Minotaurs. Sadly, yours is too keen an intellect to fall for my diabolical cuteness. So instead, sit them, General! <laughs> okay. Sick of them, General! <laughs> like, okay, buddy, sure. Okay, so we're gonna grab, gotta scroll through all of these cause now fucking, there we go. So we've got him, um, mostly for heals, but it looks like he's gonna just one shot Achilles, which is fine with me. <laughs> that is perfectly okay with me. And I think I'll show you guys the Lady Black Hope fight because um, usually, like you used to have to do it, but since you don't have to do it anymore, I want to show you. Uh, even if I have to accept another fucking side quest, I don't usually accept side quests, but here we are. And you're dead. Have a good life, or unlife, I suppose. Oh, and I might get the belt for Gloria's quest because I'm fighting this guy. Yeah, this is okay. That's what I was curious about. <laughs> You're done. So you brought Achilles to heal. Doesn't matter. As long as my input remains over Cyclops Lane, I will never fade. I did get the belt. There you go. He's right, you know. This falls deeper tethered to the physical world. But if he lost them, He'd fade back to the Nexus twixt life and death. I'm telling you this because I never liked that bunny. I took Cyclops Lane as a distraction from Malister's plan. Whatever that is. <laughs> Whatever that is. You sound like... an old mob boss or something. These Cyclops are an honorable people. And I was honor bound to Malister for saving my life from a rogue optometrist. Now, I'm honor bound to you. The Great One sees the watching eyes, our security system, turning them into hypno eyes to lull all the minions on the street all at once. Huh. Even now, these crystal balls maintain his bewitching gaze, destroy them, and his influence over this street will dissipate. Okay, I will, but first. Okay, now I'll destroy this eyeball. Be a rivalry for the ages. You'll see. One day, the Great One will return! <laughs> okay. He probably won't return, and his thrall should slowly return to normal. I vow I will honor my word and restore order to this street. Okay. Sure. 
Yeah, the reason I had to do it to <laughs> a screenshot or a picture before destroying it was because I knew he'd walk off. So give me a minute and I'll be back at Nolan. Alrighty. Hello, asshole. The trolls in Warhorn seem more docile now. I take it that means we were successful in defeating General Achilles. I was. Now you. I was. More like this wizard was successful, bro. Doesn't look like you moved an inch since you got us captured. Thank you. No, no, let's not point fingers. We succeed and fail as a team. And I will report our success to Professor Drake as such a team effort. But it wasn't, though. Whatever you say, Nolan. Wizard, you should head back to Sergeant Muldoon in Old Town and tell him Psychops Lane is under control. All right. <laughs> All right. Hello, Sergeant Muldoon. How you doing? General Achilles is backing down. Good. Then maybe he can do the job he promised to do and maintain order on Cyclops Lane. Though it may take a while with all the creatures roaming around there now. Good work all the same, wizard. Thank you. Now I have a spell quest. Um, okay. We're going to accept the Triton Avenue quest. Um, I'm gonna see which one of the other two NPCs has the Lady Black Hope quest. But we'll start with this. Triton Avenue's been overrun by the undead. I don't have any guards left to try and deal with it either. You're not the first student to offer help. Two wizards named Griffinbane went in a little while ago, and there was another named Grimwater. But none of them have come out, and I've got no word. Can you help me try to find them? Good luck, and above all, be careful. Okay. You say this was no. orchestrated by the former death professor? I thought he was dead. Well, all the other dead are back, so yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> the whole city's a mess. The guard is completely overwhelmed. I hate to ask, but could you see if Private Quinn on Firecat Alley needs help? Okay, I guess we're accepting that one too. But we're gonna do... No, this. Uh, but also, let me see. Is it you that has the Lady of Black Hope quest? Well, hello there. <laughs> I've not made your acquaintance yet. It's always good to see fresh faces here in Wizard City. I wish I had studied to become a wizard instead of uh, becoming a town guard. Uh, okay. Say, I found this book on one of the benches while I was strolling to work this morning. It looks important, and uh, I don't have time to drop it by the library. Would you take it there for me? Yeah, it's not this one. Is it the guy down here? Oh, I can't. If it is, I can't accept it. Lady Black Ops not a hard fight, though. Like, how... Whatever. Uh, we're gonna do our... We're gonna go accept our spell quest. All right, hello. As they say, knowledge is power. I think it's about time you do some research. You'll need to go to the haunted cave. That is, if you're brave enough. Once there, search around the graveyard for where the Elder Seer is buried. Remember, a graveyard wouldn't scare a death student. At least not a brave one. Okay. Um, so I need to go back to Unicorn Way and do the Saving Private Orion quest. So, um, let's go do that. Okay, I believe it is this guy I gotta talk to. Yes, saving Private Orion. I sent Private Orion down the street a while ago, and he's not back yet. With all these lost souls about, I fear the worst. Orion's a good friend of mine. Could you go see if he's all right? He may be hiding in one of their houses. See if you can find him. Okay. Um, and the other is Dorothy. Okay. 
All right, he's right here. Hey, man. How's it going? Get back on dead fiend. Oh, a student, is it? You're a brave one. Connolly sent you to check up on me. I'm well, but I did have a bit of a scare. Oh, did you? I was making my rounds when a horrifying ghost swept out of nowhere. I recognized her from the old stories. Lady Blackhope, the Wailing Widow. I'm not ashamed to say she scared me half to death. I hightailed it here and shut the door. I can't leave this place if she's still out there. Black Oak Tower's not far away. That must be where she came from. Maybe something in there can drive her spirit away. Okay. So that is right over there. Alright. Oh. To say the city guards are scared of me? Well, they should be. Everyone should be. She gives me... What's her name from Sweeney Todd? Y'all know who I'm talking about. Or you should. If you don't, you should watch Sweeney Todd. Um, Mrs. Lovett. There we go. Mrs. Lovett. She gives me Mrs. Lovett vibes. Malister has opened the seals. The dead rise. Let all who still live beware. My dark master will be avenged. You want me to stop haunting this street? <laughs> ah, let's see if you have enough spirit to stop me. I wish she was still part of the main quest line. But she is not, unfortunately. Okay. Um. Well, this isn't gonna take very long. <laughs> uh... Oh. All right. So yeah, this you this used to be a required fight. You had to fight her um, to go to the other three streets. Um, I can't remember the exact like lines used in the dialogue back then, but this used to be a required fight. And uh, Sergeant Muldoon used to be a little more foolish. And this used to- this wasn't part of the Sivian Private Orion quest initially. It was like, you finish Unicorn Way, you get to Old Town, and Sergeant Muldoon tells you you need to fight her to prove you can handle the other streets or something like that. Something along those lines. So... It's not that she's a hard fight, but when you're like level 4, 5, or three even, depending on like if you just do all of the main quests. Um, yeah, it can be a bit difficult, but... Of course, we're like level seven now, I think. But yeah, I think normally you would do it on your, like, level 4, like when you're level 4, or you used to, so you don't have your level 5 spells, so she's a little harder to fight. It takes a little longer, but I we're... I suppose you have enough spirit after all. Go tell the guardsmen I will haunt them no longer. But being that we're at level 7, we do, in fact, have, uh our level 5 spells, so it's a little easier to, you know, handle her. Alright, hello, sir. You defeated Lady Blackhope? Thanks, wizard. I'll return to my post now. Uh, as a favor, please don't tell Private Connolly what happened. 
<laughs> I don't want him to think I'll flee from the first ghost that chases me. I only run from the really scary ones. <laughs> All right, buddy. Okay. Back to Private Connolly. Speaking of Connolly, my previous doctor left the practice, so I had to get another doctor, and her name is Jennifer Connolly. I see you found Orion. I suppose some monster scared him out of his wits, and he was too frightened to come back. Yes. Well, well, see, what had happened was... <laughs> what had happened was... Well, it's not the first time, and <laughs> I wager it won't be the last. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Thanks for finding a wizard. No problem. Say, can oh. you check up on someone for me? I usually see Dorothy out shopping by now, but I think she's just down the road a bit, and she usually no. keeps the lights on. <laughs> she doesn't like all the lost souls roaming around. Um, I still... I blame her. No, we'll make this one a little longer, and we'll do... Mm, do I want to do all of Triton Avenue? Triton Avenue is kind of long. Hmm. No, I think we'll save it for next time. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button, as well as the bell icon to get notified when I post. Sharing the video would be appreciated as well. I've got some links in the description if you want to support me. And, um, yeah. So, next episode, we're going to go through Triton Avenue. Um, I know I usually do about like hour long videos on my channel but I feel like you know each of these um, uh, streets are about 30 to 40 minutes and we are actually listening to the storyline so that makes it a little bit longer um, so thank you again and have a good day night evening afternoon whatever it is wherever you are and I'll see you all next time goodbye I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight